All right, what's up, fellas? This is Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback of the Houston Texans and New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. All right, so we got Under Armour All-American Miami Camp 2018. So let's get it in, man. Uh, I want you to see these guys. I want you to make sure you imagine, use your imagination, put yourself in their position. How would you guard a guy? And um, how would you use the techniques that I teach? All right, so make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Get all the techniques. I got my programs, one-on-one mastery. Ask me for that. Um, and I'll include everything else in there, um, the mind and body training program and the catching series and all that good stuff. All right? So let's get into it. Let me go ahead and pause. Oh, not pause it, but mute that. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Man. That, okay, so look. I want to show you something. Let's say you're the first guy up. I wouldn't use a passive technique, especially when he's on the ball that close, okay? This guy looks like he got some nice long arms. You got nice long arms, man. He's on the ball. Man, do a strike and get back to balance, man. Make them fear you up front. And then on the second rep, let's say they see you, they're like, oh, okay, he's going to be a little aggressive. He's going to do strike and get back to balance. They're not going to call it that, but they said they gonna, he's going to be aggressive. And then that's when you soft shoot. I wouldn't go out there soft shooting, okay? So let's watch what, let's, let's see how he guards. My man Solomon. He does stay square. Okay, I like it. I like it. Let's see something. I want to see... I, I, I want to see if he takes too many steps back. Yeah. So, look. One thing I will say about Solomon, he does stay very square. He shuffles. You know, just be mindful of this. You don't want And I, I wouldn't even say that was a backpedal. I would just say he went too far back. Man, take about two to three steps, then get, get stout in there. Meaning, don't move back anymore. Make him have to go through you. Mirror him. You know, you're inching back using the soft shoe technique, and then get your hands on him, strike him. Don't want to get into the habit of backpedaling, because I will say this. It's extremely hard guarding a guy at, you know, when you get to five yards, extremely hard guarding a really good receiver, okay? And I want to get you guys prepared to go against really good receivers, you know? Um, imagine guarding Ocho Cinco. I don't know if y'all watched him, but Ocho Cinco was a beast to guard. You're going against guys like that, you know, it's going to be a lot harder. So don't go back that far, okay? But uh, I like how you stay square and you got the ball out. Good job, boy. All right, so you know what I'm going to say, okay? One thing that I'm going to say is this. That's what we call no man's land. All right? So look. Look, I know he's playing safety. At least he's outside, I guess. Eh. I would say this. Look. You're going against a safety, man. You can play off. I would just say at least get at least get seven. Get seven. He's not going to outrun you for the most part unless he's a really good tight end, which that's that's one of the biggest differences I noticed in the NFL. The tight ends are nice. Uh, but I would get in his face, man. You know they don't know how to release. Man, go ahead and get in a tight end's face, man. That's easy money, dog. But definitely don't be like three to four yards off because a good, a good route runner is going to have his way with you. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. There is no way a terrible releasing tight end who's not even probably used to standing up and running routes, man, I'm going to get in his face. I'm going to strike him. I'm going to get my hands with him early, okay? Know who you're going against. Know the personnel. There's no way I'm going to let that happen, man. I'll be licking my chops for president. Oh, good. Who is this? Kair Elam. I like it. Let's watch it. Pop up and, and, and let's see. And I hope you Under Armour guys got better uh, celebrations than the rivals, guys. Look at this. Stand square. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now I can look. Good job, boy. Excellent job. And Okay. Way to finish. Keep your feet and score. So yeah, we got the same celebrations. I guess it's a high school thing. Either I'm going to spin the ball or I'm going to do the no incomplete pass. Good job. Way to get the ball out. Don't look back too early. Where you get the ball out. Fight to get at least one shuffle in. Stay lateral. All right, so look at this one right here.
All right, so if we're going to start outside uh, leverage, which he looks at, um, Stanley does a good job of starting outside. This is when we start to weave. It looks like he's trying to stem us outside, trying to get to the outside leverage, which is a good job by him. Look, go ahead and weave in our back pedal. That doesn't mean turn our butt all the way. It just means we can still stay square and weave. It's a technique that I actually teach. I have a couple of videos on here, and it's in the one-on-one -on -one mastery. All right, so watch. If we start out outside, we should try our best to end outside, and then when it's time to break, we break. Let's see if he. Let me see what happens. All right, so he opens it up. That's good. Good job. Let me see where his eyes are. All right, that's the issue. So we have to high school guys, and it happens to all of us, even in college and NFL. You're gonna see it. Now it's it's worse than the high school ball. Obviously, you guys aren't professional, but I want you to think like you're professional. So before when we're breaking. We have to have our eyes on the receiver first. We drive down to the upfield shoulder. Then when we are able to be in his hip pocket or at least touch him, that's when we look back for the ball because we possibly could have either – we could still break this ball up. But you'll never make a play when you're looking back like that too early. I promise you. See, we're looking back way too early. We didn't finish well. All right. So we're good. Learn how to read the drop, okay? So you don't want to get into immediate back pedal. We want to take two read steps. Now, you can do this in the shuffle technique or, or back pedaling. Now, you guys probably don't see the shuffle technique right here in this video. You know, you're not going to necessarily see that as often. That's cool. I have it on the channel. He may have taken his read steps. I would just say, I wonder why he opened up that way. Let's watch that one more time. Oh, okay, I see. He's outside leverage. So right here, so check this out. Right here, I wouldn't be outside leverage. You know why? I would be one yard inside. The reason being, he's at the bottom of the numbers. Looks like the quarterback is in the, probably in the middle of the field, right? Man, we go ahead and we play one yard inside. But if we are playing out, one yard outside, outside leverage, this should be money. So we gotta get out of our brakes. And receiver, good gosh. Hold on, man. Let's watch this. Yo, let's see if you turn up field and score, man. Come on now. Eyes too high. I can already tell. Let me see. We do get hands on him, it looks like. Man, get used to your eyes being on the waist. I'm going to tell you why. All right? talking to a coach the other day and we we're just talking about this so like the thing about and coach if you're listening it's better for me to talk because sometimes in the email you know it's hard to, it's a lot to type but my thing is this if we looking up here at our chest if we looking at his chest i think it's too close to the head because i can wiggle i can show you a little more wiggle with my shoulders you know and then you know sometimes it's a habit to start to your eyes to kind of come up when they're doing their shimmy and they're they shaking and you know they got a little sauce to them right so when our eyes just happen to go up just a little bit, we looking at that head, we're got on a really good receiver or a guy with a little sauce, right? So it's better to have your, your eyes on the waist. So if you do kind of look up, you're still at least right here, you know? So eyes a little too wide, I mean too, uh, too high. And let's watch his feet. This is eyes, feet, hands. Eyes, feet, hands. All right, so let's see. Uh, it's like immediately we just open up. You know, I really don't like it. It's called opening the gate. Got to. I like it squeezed though. We just got to do better at the end. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I think. Let me see Jaden Davis right here. You know what? I would say he does a he does a decent job staying square for a quick second. Got a little shuffle in. I feel like, but here's the thing. These guys who aren't, you're not going against the NFL guy quite yet. You know what I mean? So I feel like he's, they're not really giving y'all no releases, man. They're not giving you that Jacoby Jones, Steve Smith type releases. So I feel like y'all, that's why I want to teach y'all how to really play press man. Because y'all should, be, should be killing these high school receivers. You know, but he does a decent job, I say, but he still opens the gate a little bit too more. A lot of you guys doing that. And look, receiver, score, 
catch the ball and sprint. You know, I think we doing too much looking at the DB like, oh, I caught on you. Bro, score the touchdown. It looks so much better for the, the college scouts. Remember the goal of the day when you go to these camps. Man, your job is to look like a – we'll talk about this. Your job is to look like an elite athlete who's smart and wants to win. That ain't going to win games. You just catch the ball. Oh, yeah, I caught on you, man. Ah, uh, look at me. Man, catch the ball and score. Man, y'all need to watch Jerry Rice. Yo, look up Jerry Rice clips. All the coaches and parents would be like, you know what? This dude is telling the truth. Man, he played every single practice like it was a game. That's how, like the like the Super Bowl, actually. Score. And then DB, chase him down. All right, so look. All right, so with this motor, I'm going to tell you something, receivers. If you're receiving, you're watching this, listen up. All my DBs, y'all should be playing receiver too. When you're doing your motoring, when you're motoring, you should be moving forward with your motor, okay? Everything you should do, you should be moving violently and forward. So one thing I notice always about Andre Johnson, Andre Johnson played some amazing ball for you young guys, man, for years. Everything he did, man, he was moving forward. Now, you may get square. You may have that release where you get square, and then you may go, you know, then you may go. Um, but we don't really like that. When you motor and you coming forward at us, it doesn't feel good for us. But if you just stand in one spot, man, really, this guy right here, Hill, he could have just really, he could have chose a technique. Even in soft shoe, you take a couple, you maybe take one or two steps back, and then we get in square, we stand right here. Where he messes up is he starts to back up, and then he just opens up. There's no reason why we should open up right here, Hill. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. I want y'all to see, man. He not, he not, he not coming at us enough for that. See what I'm saying? He's not coming forward in his motoring. We don't feel any pressure. So look, stay in there, man. Do one of the techniques that I teach in the one-on-one -on -one mastery, man. Buzz your feet. You know, you can buzz your feet. You could do a soft shoe, but stay. You, you take one step and you see he ain't going anywhere. Man, look, stay in there and get ready to uh, strike or shuffle um, and stay lateral. You know, right here, man, I, you long arm guys, man, master strike and get back to balance. I promise you. If you master that, that could be your bread and butter. And he, you don't even have to have long arms. Like, I'm not a long arm guy. You know, I'm 5'9". I bet you, you know, uh, strike and get back to balance, man, it's easy, especially these guys that be on the ball, you know. So that's what I'll say to you guys, man. Don't open up like this. You open up like this, you're giving him, you're giving him the advantage. And then look, score. I should see a burst from both of you guys. This is unacceptable. I'm telling you how recruiters think. I'm trying to help y'all get recruited. <laughs> this is unacceptable right here, right, man. Score the touchdown and go walk them. Show them how fast you are. Okay, you messed up on coverage. Show them how fast you are. Opening the gate. Receiver stack. Good, good catch, but receiver stack them, man. Got to make a play. Got to squeeze him. Keep squeezing him all the way out of bounds. There you go. Make a play. Ah, uh, be careful turning fully around like that. I talk about that. It's hard to jump. Be careful with the other arm. They're going to call the flag. All right, let's finish up on this last play by Howard. Eh. I don't like it. Let's see one more. There you go. Ah, man. There's no reason to open up. Look, he had you staying square. Okay, he ain't going nowhere. Stay in there. He's not doing nothing, man. Stay in there. You got a balance right there. If you want, okay, boom. He's not going nowhere. Keep your eyes low. I can tell you how he got high too. You gotta create the habit of keeping your eyes on his on his waist. See right here. He didn't even give us nothing really. So we gotta practice this, man. This is something we really gotta get good. Okay, that's decent right here. I like it, Martin. Make a play. Good job, boy. Excellent job. All right, so we're gonna keep going at it, man. I wanna get you guys elite, man. Make sure you guys email me at cornerbackprogmail.com. Ask me for the one-on-one -on -one mastery so we can get you guys ready. To play. Oh, nice. I like it. Be careful. Don't hey, keep them up.
All right, guys.